this one is hoverboard three phase bldc motor so i will show you internal of the bldc motor and this is one is hover port motor controller here is these three cables and here you can, can connect hall sensor so it is giving feedback so i will open it while opening uh, this uh, hover port motor i will tell you about uh, this hover port motor what is inside uh, this pldc motor usually have 30 permanent magnets arranged in 15 pole pairs this, this configuration help uh, achieve the precise control high torque needed for smooth and efficient operation so in my videos uh, i will use stm32 cube mx this is graphic tool uh, and it allow very easy configuration for stm32 microcontrollers uh, and processor as well generating the corresponding initializing c code for arm cortex and uh, I, I will uh, make the i will write the full code and uh, you can learn everything how the code is writing and now i will uh, talk about something first uh, about the pldc motor okay first i will discuss about the rotor the rotor is the moving part that contains the permanent magnet this magnet create the magnetic field that interact with the stator magnetic field to produce motion and uh, the stator stator is a stationary part of the motor uh, and contain the winding coils which uh, when current flow through these windings is generating a magnetic field that interact with the rotors magnetic field causing the motor to run I will discuss about the Hall effect sensor with uh, this overboard. These Hall effect sensors serve as encoder for the motor. Uh, uh, this Hall effect sensor device that provide information about the motor position as it spins. Knowing the uh, knowing the position of the motor is important for robotic because uh, you often need to know what the motor position. It uh, necessary to control the robots arm and leg the hall effect sensors are fixed it gives six unique states per two magnets that means all 30 magnets in the motor there are 90 states that we can get out of this hall effect sensor for full revolution so with 30 magnets 15 pole pairs and three, three Hall effect sensors you can indeed get more detailed position of sensing uh, understanding the 90 states uh, Hall effect sensors combinations I will uh, show you the this chart how it is working uh, with the three Hall sensors there are possible combination of uh, these states for each electrical cycle the three Hall sensor will go through all eight combination so in the motor with 15 pole pairs there are 15 electrical cycles per mechanical revolution uh, total state if we can calculate therefore a total number of unique states per mechanical revolution is uh, 8 per time so 15 equal to 120 however if we consider only the transition between states uh, that uh, used for commutation we typically use six states per electrical cycle uh, leading to six uh, time 15 so 90 states so how it is works by position detection as the rotor spins the hull sensor detect the magnetic field changes and generate signals in stm32 cube max i will generate the code i will use stm32 f103 c86 which is controlling two hoverboard motors these signals uh, determine the rotor position based on the current state and uh, i will generate one uh, commutation table the microcontroller use the uh, detected states to decide which motor winding to energize 
this ensure that the motor phases are energized in correct uh, sequence to maintain the smooth rotation uh, function to read the hall sensor signals here you can see this states and for speed control the microcontroller just the pwm signal to control the motor speed that also i will use the timers and atc in uh, my configuration when i do in the next video you can see uh, by changing the duty cycle of the pwm the microcontroller can control the average voltage and the current supply to the motor the detail position sensing allow for uh, precise control of the motor leading to the smooth operation and uh, better uh, performance i think now you can understand uh, fully about the bldc motor uh, three phase six step sensor bldc motor controlling with the stm32 microcontroller involves some uh, few key component and processor here are some simplified uh, overview i will tell you component stm multi uh, uh, components which i am using stm32 microcontroller act as a this act, acting as a brain of the system executing the control algorithm and bldc motor a three phase bldc motor with hall effect sensor for rotor position and feedback and uh, power stage uh, typically inverter circuit that uh, drive the motor phases that uh, it is having six mosfets and uh, hall sensors provide rotor position feedback to the microcontroller and uh, how it is working uh, principal uh, uh, i will initialize the peripherals including gpio adc and the timer in the stm32 cube wax uh, then hall sensor feedback uh, uh, that is providing the position and every 60 electrical degrees uh, that uh, i will show you in the my code then commutation the six steps commutation uh, which is also known as a, uh, a trapezoidal uh, commutation involves switching uh, the power uh, transistor in sequence to energize the motor phases and each step uh, correspond to the specific combination of high and low signal to the uh, motor phases and for the pwm control uh, pulse with uh, modulation uh, signals control the voltage applied to the motor phases regulating the speed and torque and in my code uh, i will uh, use the potentiometer and uh, with this potentiometer i will control the uh, speed of the motor and in the control loop uh, the stm32 runs control loop that uh, reads the hall sensor signals determine the rotor position and up to updating the commutation sequence and pwm duty cycle accordingly and then uh, in six step what is happening uh, in first step phase and b first uh, second step phase a and c third b and c fourth b and a fifth uh, c and a and uh, six step c and b so each step uh, energized with the two motor phases creating a rotating magnet field that drives uh, the rotor uh, timing uh, and accuracy precise timing and uh, crucial for smooth operation uh, important uh, if uh, there is improper commutation can cause noise and vibration and uh, the thermal management also uh, uh, will uh, detect the temperature so uh, using stm32 cube mx uh, and the motor control uh, uh, we will generate all the code and uh, will drive our motor smoothly and uh, with the full torque uh, you can uh, watch my other video if you like it please subscribe like uh, please watch my next video in which uh, i will do uh, configuration for pin outs and i will write the code and uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment thank you very much